The staff at Fusi Freunde in Hamburg are sports mad. The football website features reports on regional matches. These days, much of their coverage is generated by software. They're one of the first editorial teams in Germany to use so-called robot journalism. But could that put the human reporters' jobs on the line? Not according to Dirk Becker, who's in charge at Fusi Freunde. The huge advantage of automatically generated text is that it means we can cover far more leagues, far more games. We couldn't manage that with manpower alone. The program generates over 400 articles a week. The reporters do the rest themselves. Automated journalism software is best suited to simple data-based articles. The program used by Fusi Freunde was developed in Berlin. Sebastian Golli is the head of text generation at tech firm Retresco. He and his team specialize in automating content-driven business models. Here's how it works. First of all, a text engine accesses the data, from a football game, for example. Next, it's processed by the editors. Finally, the software generates an article. The program can produce about five articles per second. Programmers have to update the algorithm regularly. After all, it is fallible. It would be wrong to say the text engine never makes mistakes. There are humans behind it. Humans program in the text engine, setting the rules. The difference is that if it makes a mistake and we correct it, it will never make that mistake again. Robot journalism is nothing new in the U.S. At the L.A. Times, earthquake reports are generated by an algorithm. Forbes magazine and the AP News Agency also use software to generate certain stories. Researchers at the University of Munich have been using the U.S. election to practice creating automatically generated texts. The election forecasting platform Polyvote uses bots to produce written content. Mistakes do occur, but digital journalism expert Claire Wardle says the technology is improving. When you look at research where audiences are given journalism that's written by a human and journalism that's written by a computer, most people can't tell the difference because they're the type of formulaic story that anybody could write. Time to put the software's writing skills to the test. We show people two match previews and ask them which they think was auto-generated. Most people get it wrong. The match coverage is top. I'd never guess it was generated by software. I didn't expect so much detail. It's a bit creepy. So are flesh and blood journalists on their way out? Probably not. After all, an algorithm doesn't have an opinion and can't make a value judgment. There are plenty of areas of journalism which still require humans and where robot journalists won't ever be used. We won't be seeing any auto-generated commentaries on current political events, for example. So, robot journalism won't be replacing real reporters anytime soon. But automation has allowed the team here at Fusi Freunde to devote more time to producing in-depth content.